secrets to us. May our hearts indict a good matter and may we leave this class better than the way we came. Take all the glory and Lord whatever burden your children came with may they never go home with it in Jesus name. Amen and amen. amen. Champions shout fire! Shout Ururu! Shout Muzozo! Shout Mafura! Shout Onction! Amen and amen! We want to thank the presence of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And also want to thank our most holy father, Papa Joshua Aguila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Okay, let's stand to our feet. Let's walk up to ten persons and say to the person, it's so very nice to see you. If you want to be in government, ten is the number of government. Say to the person, it's so very nice to see you. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, let's take our seats. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen.
Revelations chapter 19. Revelations chapter 19. Yeah. Revelation chapter 19. Look at verses 10. Something that transpired between a mortal man and an immortal man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two kinds of people. Standing face to face yes, sir. with each other. Yes, sir. Look at verses 10. And I fell at, at his, his feet, feet to, to worship him. him. Who is that him? The angel. Yes, sir. Angel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Angels live in where? Immortality. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, John, lives in where? Mortality. Mortality. Yes, so that makes him what? A mortal yes, man. Yes, sir. Please answer me now. Yes, and the angel is what? An immortal. Yes, sir. One who never dies. Yes, sir. He said he is the ending. And that ending has no end. Yeah, it's true. When are you ever going to meet such people? They exist. Yes, sir. How can you live in this world? Breeze pass through this world live in this world and never cross path with supernatural extraordinary beings who have the same eyes like you wow. one knows he was not looking different from john wow. he was looking exactly like a human with five fingers on each hand yes sir yes, two sir. hands two feet yes sir he was wearing clothes so which means even this immortal being believes in dressing well. He wow. dressed well. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. He has a voice, which means he can speak. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Bible says his mouth is a double-edged sword. It's the word of God. Yes. He has two eyes. has hair. He was looking human. Yes. But John knew by the radiance. Yes, sir. And what was it that made this angel to radiate knowledge? knowledge? One of the things people don't know is that it is knowledge that makes you look vibrant. Yes. Beyond the necessary pedicure, makeup. manicure, makeup. See, truly, recently, I've started learning how to take care of myself. Yes, sir, yes, I'll tell you truthfully, I never used to. I didn't care. But I discovered if I'm ever going to get to where God is taking me to, which I am not even close to yet. Yes, I'm not even there yet. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I'm not even close to where God wants me to be yet. Even though you say, oh, brother, you are successful. I'm not even close to where God wants me to be yet. But if I'm ever going to get there, mm -hmm. yes, sir. I know mm -hmm. I can't be like this to get there. Yes. But I have to start what? Preparing for yes. that place. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm not talking about death, heaven. No, I'm talking about in this yes. world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are certain people you may never, never cross path with. And so what is the first thing I decided to do? One, increase in knowledge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then complement it with the basic things that I need to improve the radiance of God. Yes, sir that came through knowledge yes, sir. in my life. Yes, sir. We told you even an angel can look at the commander of an army's shoes and say, take them off before yes, me. Yes, true. But this was the leader. Yes, sir. There was no mud in his shoes. He said, but take it out. You don't look good. You know so much, yet you are not complimenting it with your looks, with good looks. That's the thing. See. Yeah. Where do you want to be in your life? 
Where do you want to go in your life? Maybe you think you are not important. Then if you are not, what are you doing here? Because this church is for important people. It's true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They may come not looking important, but we will make them important. Yes, sir. That's what God called us to do. Yes, sir. To make certain people, those who look unimportant, yes. important. Yes, sir. And the truth is, they are important. Yes, they just don't know it yet. We are the ones to tell them yes, sir. that they are. Yes, sir. They are. Yes, sir. They are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When Pastor Christian and Pastor Eunice won their elections, they wanted me to come for their swearing in. I said, you don't need me there. Mm. Invite your family. Let them go. That's not what God called me to do. My mission is not necessarily to be in the forefront. Mm. Let me be backstage. Let me fix you first, then push you to the world. Yes, yes sir. I said, so invite your families. Let them take pictures with you. Let them celebrate. You will not see me at their inaugura, uh, inauguration. Yes, sir. To... to, to to stand next to them. Let's say Pastor Christian wins presidency you today. See, yeah. see you will not necessarily see me because I may just be sitting there. Why? Because my mission is to make these ones important. important. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Taking picture, anybody can take picture with you. That's <laughs> not true. what I mean. <laughs> but let's fix them. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. But you have to decide yes, sir. that if what we're teaching you is really true, then the way you take care of yourself must complement it. Yes, sir. Maybe you don't. Yes, sir. It's true. Yes, sir. How can you face immortality? Mm. That becomes the question. How, in your lifetime, how can you face immortality? Mm. When I tell you, I, I see angels all the time. I've seen them many times. I know I will still see them. Yeah. It, it may sound very Arabic to you. But given the class of angels I've been privileged to see, there's a way I cannot look. Yes, it's true. It's not, it's true. not possible. Yes, sir. What my eyes have already seen. Honestly, sir. What I've experienced. Yes. No. The natural may not be exactly like the supernatural, but at least it can come close. It can yes. complement it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know as heavy a matter a rocket is that flies to space? Yes, sir as heavy a matter as it is. As heavy as the matter yes, of a rocket is, yes, there are still plastic inside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But it still complements it. Yes, sir. It is necessary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of the cables are plastic. Yes, sir. Yes, Some sir. of the yes, insulated yes, cables yes, sir. They are still yes, sir. plastic. Everything must complement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, the spiritual knowledge you are acquiring, yes, what are you complementing yeah, it with? It's true. How do you choose to be seen? How do you want people to see you? How do you want people to see you? Here was a mortal man in face with immortality. Yes, sir. How do you face immortality? Mm. Here, in case you didn't notice, here are two individuals living in two different worlds. Yes, sir. One is living in the world of immortality. Yes, sir. And the other was living in the world of mortality where yes, men are born, yes, they grow, they live and die. This one, he was made Angels are not born. Yes, he was God's creation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The first of God's creation. Yes, sir. Yes, Revelation 3 from verses 14. And he's looking at someone that God made, that is born, that grows, that lives, acquires knowledge, grows old, and dies. And he's not bringing a knowledge. Now you think about it. The knowledge he even brought to John was a knowledge that John will not even live to see. Honestly, it's true. He said, it doesn't matter. Just write it down and send it to those who still live longer than you. Wow. 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 
So you see, when we come to teach you the word of God, yes, sir. it is so that you can live a better improved life yes, sir. than even the life I'm living now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you think the success God has given me is attractive enough, wait until you succeed. Yes, this one's don't want it. Yes, this one's don't want it. I want it, sir. It's my turn. It's my turn. Wait until you see what God is going to do with you. How phenomenal your life will be. Yes, sir. Then you will know what God even gave brothers is nothing. You see. Oh, man. You sound offended. And I don't like to offend you. No, sir. No, sir. I'm not offended. You're not. See, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See that thou do it not. Don't do it. I am thy fellow servant. Wow. But we're of different kinds. Mm. He said, but we're fellows. Wow. 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 Think about it. Wow. How an angel can say, you and I are of a common kind. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are doing the same job. Yes, sir. We live in different worlds. We are made differently. Yes. Even though we look alike. Yes, sir. But we run the same service. Yes, I am a fellow servant. Yes, we're working, we're both working for the same boss. Yes, yes. yes sir. Oh, God. <sighs> this angel, yes. as honorable as he was, yes. did not ever give John the impression that he was better than he. It's true. Yes, it's true. Wow. He didn't tell John he was better than him. Yes, sir. Wow. Never did. Never told John I'm better than you. Never did. Never gave John that impression. Look, man, I, do you know who I am? I, I'm not in your grade. No, never gave John that. He said we're of the same kind. Yes, you are looking at the humility of immortality. Yeah, the humility yeah, of immortality. Yes, Fools, those who lack knowledge are the arrogant ones. When I was in the old court, and I was, I had a group of boys I was going to initiate, and um, there were about 50 boys. Mm -hmm. All in all, the number of boys I initiated into the old court were about 500. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, but there was this particular set of boys I was going to initiate. So I had to take them through the grooming process. And that was going to last for like a year. Yes, sir. So I took them through the grooming process for a year. But guess what? They never saw me one day. Wow. Wow. I had boys that I would send on the end. Go and tell them to do this. Go and tell them to do this. And I can be in a place where they will be discussing their experience. Wow. And they just saw me like, who is this guy? I recall I was in a restaurant eating and two guys came. I knew who they were. Like I said, they never saw me. They were eating and they were both discussing their experiences and I was listening. So I turned to just look at them. One said, who are you? Get out of this place. So I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So I carried my plate. <laughs> but they didn't know who I was. Mm. So, and they were complaining about the drizz that I had already said they should give them. Yes, sir. But they had never seen me. Yes, they didn't sir. know I was the one controlling things. Yes, sir. <laughs> Meanwhile, the, the leader, the grand leader, yes, sir. said with me, his drills are too much. Mm. Why don't you reduce it? I say, I want us to build quality. Yes. You know, because the grand leader and I, we were soulmates. Oh, wow. So, 
he he became the grand leader. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I'm using the word grand leader. I don't want to say grand master. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But that's what he became. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I became the high priest. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I was in charge of ceremonies and initiation. Yes, sir. So for he to me, please, I think you should. Let them come in. Then after a while, we can begin to give them some drinks. I said, no, man. I want us to have uh, quality, man. Yeah. Don't you need quality? He said, I do. Oh. He said, that's why you are the high priest. Mm. I said, so let me do my job. Mm. He said, I learned that. He said, I learned that they have never met you. I said, no, not yet, until the initiation. Mm. But I used to be in places where they would see me. Wow. Like one commoner. Yeah. Ah. That's why I said they had never seen me before. Wow. And I deliberately did that so that on the day of initiation, when I take out my regalia and they see me, so this is the guy who drove you away from the restaurant. <laughs> anyway, there was a particular test I gave them. Yes, I told the boys I was controlling, say, tell them they should all dress like mad people mm. and start acting mad for seven days mm. in the market squares, mm. in the public markets. made a list of seven markets in the city. So the person, go, I have their names. Yes, so sir, yes, tell sir. This person, let him dress like a mad person and start acting mad for mm. seven days. Yes, sir. Why? We knew members of his family go to that market. Oh, wow. Every day. Sometimes you see some mad people. Some of them are not mad. It's just in his mm. And they did the all. <laughs> and my my soulmate now came. So see, ah, that one is is crazy. Oh. This one is too much, Josie. <laughs> I said, don't worry. You you have quality. Today, when you look at certain kinds of Christians, yes, sir. When you see the way they do. You, you, it's just a question. Are you really, like the Americans would say, are you for real? Are you really serious? <laughs> you mean this is what you think Christianity is? Ah. I told you when I was in the old court there, even as a, as a high priest, I slapped a pastor once. <laughs> he was preaching one day. He was having a Bible study. And I attended the Bible study. So he was teaching. He was talking about the power of God. Yes, sir. So I said, Pastor, can I ask you a question? I interrupted the service. He said, please don't interrupt me. I said, okay. I said, I need to interrupt you. <laughs> he, he said, what? I, I said, do you know the power of God? Mm. He said, the power of God is greater than everything. I said, that's what you said. Mm. Have you experienced the power of God? So I sat there, I said, continue. So after the service, he was, he was greeting people. I walked up to him, I said, Pastor, don't say things you don't know. Wow. <laughs> so he started talking, who are you, this and that. I, I said, give me your address, I'd like to come and do a Bible study with you. Mm. So he gladly gave me his address. That's how I came and I was slapping him. Mm. <laughs> that was the Bible study. <laughs> I came. As he opened the door, I slapped him. I used to be, when I was in the fraternity in college, I used to be a hitman. So he was not in. The way I slapped, I, I busted, I broke the nose brick. I, I said, show me the power of God. Let's do Bible study. I was, I was, I was beating him. He was shouting Jesus. I said, you are still calling Jesus. I was beating him. You are crazy. I said, you are a joker, man. I just a celebrated pastor. Yes. 
That's why sometimes even some of our pastors, they tell them, man, look, get serious with your life. They're just playing, man. But OC of the past, no brother OC, OC of the past. I will harass you. I broke the pastor's nose bridge. I said, show me the power of God. Let it be. I beat him shaggy. Shaggy. Yeah. He was not I said, you want to fight me? Fight me. You don't know what I came with. I will kill you here now. Show me the power of God. He was not begging me, please. Say, Pastor. Then I told him, I said, this is why I can't be a Christian. People are just nonsense. Because he didn't even know my biological father was a pastor. Yeah. Although we later became friends. Yeah. When he started hearing me preach, he now said, you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> I beat Shege. I beat him. I was happy to beat him. I beat him. Remove my belt. I used to wear one Levi, Levi belt. Which, you know, has metal head. You don't know where some of us are coming from. Hey, show me the power of God. I said, which scripture to, uh, yeah, show me the power of God. There's a reason why I'm telling you this. Get serious with your life. Yes, sir. On the day of the initiation of those group of boys, when they saw me, they were begging. I said, no, you've been initiated anyway. There's no need to beg me. So, when we were holding fraternity meetings, those new group of initiated boys, we told them to escape, excuse us. Wow. And so they, was, they started protesting. But we're already initiated members. We should attend the meeting. We should attend the meeting. And the leader was saying, said, let them come now. At least they are initiated. I said, don't mind them. You can't trust these ones. So, they were insisting, insisting, insisting. So I said, okay, fine, let them come. So, and the leader, I said, let me ask them one question each. So, I came to the restaurant. Didn't you see me at the restaurant? I said, what were you people discussing? And we were just talking among ourselves about uh, how serious the dreams were. This, 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 this. I said, and you want us to share fraternity occult secrets with you? You were already discussing it in the restaurant. Go, you are suspended for one year. Oh yeah, you. I met you at Soso Place, at the drinking bar. This, 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 this. You were talking with your girlfriend over, you couldn't even tell her why you were in pain and all that. She was trying to find out if somebody attacked you. First of all, you were never supposed to show that you were in pain. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Go, you are suspended for one year. Oh yeah, you. The leader says, these ones are crazy people. <laughs> ah. Look at this one. Some people are not your kind. Some people are not your mates. You see, so, so when it was time to even nominate me to be a grand leader, they said no. Who <laughs> will kill all of us? <laughs> you see what I tell you? Even some of the things they do here in America is just joke. Mm. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just joking. Ozzy will kill us all. He's a mad dog. <laughs> Take your spiritual life serious. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm asking, the reason why I told you those stories is when you meet those of a higher grade by reason of what they know will you be able to stand john at 90 years old walked with jesus never prostrated before jesus one day john never did but he saw an angel and prostrated never prostrated before jesus one day but he's talking to an angel and he's prostrated Some of you say, I want to see angels. I want to see this. I want to see this. How much do you know? And how much are you willing to know? Mm. It snow, you couldn't come to church. It rained, you say you couldn't, come, you couldn't come to church. But with service, you say I will watch on Zoom. Okay, have you thought about it? You couldn't come to church because it rained. 
Others did. You are watching them on Zoom. You saw people sitting in church. They defied the weather that you couldn't defy. And you expect to be upgraded beyond them. You are a joker. You are really a joke. It's true, sir. <laughs> you are a Halloween joke. <laughs> Someone entered the rain to come to yes, church. Sir. And you saw the person in church through Zoom. He said, ah, I live not too far away from church. This person came from far and still made it to church. And then tomorrow you ask God to lift you. <laughs> that person is not saying, but uh, the Lord, some angels appeared to me. Which angel? Which angel? We, someone said, which angel? How can angel appear to you? Me that studied my Bible 365 <laughs> days, eh, except when rain falls, you don't come to church. When it snows, you don't come to church. You are a joke, man. Then tomorrow you hear a sister in church gets married. You say, uh, I don't know how she did it. Mm. <laughs> she probably did something. <laughs> She's not even that fine. Okay. You that is so fine like salt, you could not enter rain to come. This one that is not fine entered the rain. And the brother came and saw her in the rain trying to enter church. He used his umbrella to just cover her because she, her hair was already soaked. And that's how he married her. Aww. You with your dry hair. <laughs> you put cocoa sheen, cocoa butter. <laughs> you broke raw eggs to make it grow. You did the hair treatment. This or that. Toothpaste. Whatever. No nada. No nada. The rain you were supposed to enter to come to church for that brother to meet you. And that brother has made up his mind. Whichever lady I can see enter the rain to even come to church, that lady is somebody I will be with. She will do anything for me. Wow. And the guy is so rich, he says he can trust her with his oh, money. Geez. You. say If you tell me any secret, nobody will know. No, not a soul we know. You are already a soul. You couldn't even come to church. Sorry. Can't you see you're a joke? Hi. And you're so funny. You really look like the joke. Hi. When are you going to increase in what you should know? And then even angels, beings from the world of immortality, can be comfortable to want to be around you. Knowing that this one is grounded, this one is solid. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Grounded, solid, well behaved. Yes, sir. I mean, just for John, even prostrating before him, the angel should have even accepted. That. After all, it, it's, it's an expression of regards yes, to his yes, superior. No, yes, the angel said we're of the same kind, actually. We both work for the same boss. Wow. We, we like your kind of person. Now, this was a man at 90 years old. And the angel was comfortable to come and see him for the first time at 90. Mm. He allowed him to grow. Wow. Don't forget, the things you read in the Bible that God already said to people were things God already said even before they were conceived. Wow. They were just only playing. It's like a movie that was already produced, but now it was now released in the market several months later. Wow. The people acting in that movie already acted the movie. Yes, they are already acting in another movie already. It's you are just watching the movie. So this angel who came with these true sayings of God had already received the message long ago. Yes, sir. But he was waiting for John to be in problem. Yes, sir. Where people will persecute him. Yes, sir. Where people will attack him. Then throw him in hot oil. And nothing, not even his skin, not even a hair on his body shrinked. Then they removed him, then threw him into the Maroon Island of Patmos. That's where he now met the angel. Wow. The angel has been there waiting for him. Wow. Waiting for him long before. There are angelic beings who are probably waiting for you, and you refuse to grow as you should. You refuse to know what you should know. One of the things I learned in my life yes, as a Christian yes, is to know how to minimize excuses. Yes, Do you know what an excuse is? It's a reason not to progress. Is it? I've told you before. Yeah, it's a reason not to 
It's a, it, it, I've given you a definition you will never find in the dictionary. Yes, sir. It's a genuine spiritual reason for not making progress. Yeah, true. Why did you come to church? Ah, there was a snowstorm. Is that not genuine? Yes, sir. Please answer. Now. Is yes, that not genuine? Sir. Why are you yes, looking sir. straight? Yes, sir. Now you don't want to have crossed eyes. <laughs> yeah, look straight. <laughs> Why didn't you come to church? There was a snowstorm. But some people still came in the storm. You tell some people, come to church. Say, no, I don't want to contact virus. Who. Why are you people sitting close to each other? <laughs> the pandemic is killing people. Has it killed you yet? No. no, I don't want to sit next to anybody. Mm. During the pandemic, one sister came to church, wore masks, wore gloves. <laughs> so after the service, she came to see me in the office. Then we were at uh, Plainfield. Came to see me in the office. She said, how are you, brother? I said, fine. I wanted to shake her hand. So she brought her hand with the gloves. I said, remove gloves before you shake them. She said, no, you know, because of the virus, I don't want anything to touch it. I said, so me, I will give you virus. All your demons, who has been casting it away? <laughs> your demons say, you should not shake my hand again. She said, ah, brother, I'll see. Please forgive me. I forgot to say, you are the one driving the devil's <laughs> way. She now removed her. Oh, God. oh man. With all that you've been hearing, mm. you are still that insecure. Ah, have mercy. That the house of God, the spiritual place, is the safest place you can ever be. It's true. This is where you come to draw from the words of safety yes, sir. to go and live safe yes. out there. Yes, sir. Knowledge increases what? Your radiance. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then you complement it by what? Taking care of yourself. Yes, sir. If it is pedicure you need to do, then do it. If it is manicure, if it is taking care, dressing well, do it. Complement it with what you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So people say, I know a lot, but it does not even reflect on the clothes they wear. You know that much, and it cannot even make your clothes to shine. It, there was, mm. I, I like to read the scripture to you. Go, go to First Samuel chapter 28. Let's show you something that happened to King Saul. Yes, sir. When Samuel the seer died. First Samuel chapter 28. And it came to pass in those days that the Philistines gathered they are armies together for warfare to fight with Israel. And Archie said unto David, Know thou assuredly that thou shalt go out with me to battle and thy men. And David said to Archie, Surely thou shalt know what thy servant can do. And Archie said to David, Therefore will I make thee keeper of my head forever. Okay, this is the part I want you to see. Now Samuel was dead, and all Israel lamented him and buried him in Ramah, even in his own city. And Saul put away those that had familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. And the Philistines gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shunem. And Saul gathered all Israel together, and they pitched in Giboa. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he prayed. And what? Please read around. He was what? Okay, fine. Now, verse 6 is the past. I want you to see. One, two, go. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not. Neither by dreams, nor by urine, nor by the prophets. Now, highlight that word, urine. Urine. Is the, the full word is urotondum. Urim tondum or urotondum. But urine. Urine. Let me tell you what urine means. The high priest used to wear a robe yes. called the ephod. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the ephod had 12 stones on yes. the chest. Yes, sir. On the chest. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 12 stones. Mm -hmm. And each stone represents the 12 yes, tribes of yes, Israel. Yes, yes, each of the tribes. Yes, sir. 12 different precious stones. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, when there was no prophet in sight, mm. and somebody comes and says they had a dream. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that God spoke to them through the dream. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that he has a message for the whole of Israel. Yes, sir. They will tell the person, come. 
they will bring the person before the you, 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 oh, the stones, the ephod, yes, 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 with those stones. Yes, sir. Then they will say, tell us what God told you in your yes, dream. Yes, if the person begins to narrate the story and the stones begin to light up, yes, then they will know what he's saying yes, is from yes, God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what is called urine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if he narrates the story, no matter how spectacular it was, no matter how flamboyant it was, and the stones are just the way they are, mm -hmm. then yes, they will know that he lied. Yes, sir. Then yes. they will kill him. Mm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So here he's not saying. He sought the Lord, yes, sir. even yes. through urine. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. Wow. It didn't work. It did not work. <laughs> and so, what did he do? He went to patronize a lady with a familiar spirit instead. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This angel said to John, I am of the same kind with you. I'm of your kind. Yes, sir. We are alike. We are alike. We are of the same kind. Believe me, we are of the same kind. Mm -hmm. He said, but worship God. Yes. Worship God. Worship God. What? We should worship God. He said, yes, worship God. Now, go back to Revelation chapter 19. Let's show you something in verses 10. Yes, sir. When are you going to grow up? Now, honestly. <laughs> honestly, sir, right now. When are you going to grow up? Right he sought God, and God will not talk to him. Mm. Yeah, God likes to talk. But this particular person called Saul, God said, I won't talk to him. I'm so angry with him that I don't want to talk to him. He was begging people, do you have any dream about what God said? None had a dream. And anyone who even faked a dream stood before the effort and nothing happened. Why was King Saul like that? Because he was someone even angels could not trust. Wow. Much less come to. See that? John didn't know that there was an angel assigned to work not only with him, I hope you know, yes, but with sir. other servants of the Lord. Before we read Revelation chapter 19, verses 10, uh, Revelation 19, verses 10, I, 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 I'd like you to see Revelation 1, verses 1. Yes, sir. See that? The other servants were there, but the angel was only comfortable with one. John's mother was not a virgin. John, if you study the Bible, you will never see where this John worked any miracle. He, he, he did not cure one headache one day. Yes, no. But he saw Apostle Peter and others do it. Yes, he didn't. But what he received was more than the miracles. It is what you and I today are studying. And many churches today. See, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto what? Servants. Please answer now. Is it singular or in plural? Please answer now. In plural. So there were so many God wanted for this angel to talk to. But he came to one person instead. Do you know whether your angel has been waiting for you? Expecting certain things to happen in your life so that you can be in that condition where you will not see him. He was not in the city of Turkey with him because John lived in Turkey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. John lived in Turkey. Yes, sir. But the Turkish government threw him into a maroon island to go and die. It's true. That was where the angel was waiting for him. Yeah. That was where the angel was waiting for him. 
Why didn't the angel just come into the city of Istanbul to come and just pick John? Come, God sent me to you. No, he was waiting in a maroon island. <laughs> so, which means he okayed everything that was done to John, the persecution or the punishment, yes. so that ah, this guy, we don't know what to do with this guy. Let's throw him away. He is a condemned human. And threw him into a maroon island. And that was where he met the angel. And John knew why he was going there. To them, they were throwing him into a maroon island where no human being has ever lived to go and die. He said, he said, look at verses 2. I want you to see something he said in verses 2. Who bore record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep the writings which are written therein for the time John to the seven churches which are in where? Asia. Grace. Please read. Which is and which was. And from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness. And the first begotten of the dead. And the prince of the kings of the earth. And to him that loved us. And washed us from our sins in his own blood. And have made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Read on. Behold, Behold he cometh with the clouds. And every eye shall see him. And they also will pierce him. And all kings of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. I am John. This is the part I want you to see. One to go. I, John, who am also your brother and companion, companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the eyes of the scored Patmos for the word of God. They were training to go and destroy him. He said he was going there for the word of God. Yes, sir. So he, there was a consciousness. Yes. He said, you are even doing me a favor. I've not had a retreat for a while. I've been so busy because he was the bishop of the church of Ephesus. Yes, sir. After Paul died, he took over. Yes, sir. Wow. So he said, this is a good retreat for me. He said he was going there for the word of God. Meanwhile, they were sending him there to go and die. Yeah. Hey. The comfort you are afraid to lose. Mm. What if your angel wants you to lose that comfort so that you can see him? Wow. Then he can begin to communicate things that other men don't know who are living in comfort. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, I was there in the island of Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus. I was in the spirit on that faithful day. When he says the lost day, it doesn't mean Sunday. It just means that faithful day. Every day is the lost day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Bible says, one regards a day unto the Lord, to the other he doesn't. But unto the Lord he regarded or regarded not. Romans chapter 14. So every day belongs to the Lord. But here he was talking about the fact that look, see they may have thought that they were doing me damage. Mm. But they didn't know that they were just sending me on a vacation. Wow. <laughs> he said he was going there. I mean see how he interpreted the circumstance. He said I'm your brother. The one you heard about that was being persecuted, that was in tribulation. Actually, I was sent to the island of Patmos, but I was going there for the word of God. Yes, sir. Yeah. They didn't even know. Ay. They were even doing God a favor. Yes, sir. Wow. So the angel must have been behind the scenes, orchestrating the events. Let him come and meet me here. Let him come and meet me here. Yes, sir. He said he was there when he heard a voice speak. Then he turned in that Patmos. Yeah. He said he heard the yes, voice yes, talk. Yes, then he turned to see. That's where he saw this angel looking at him. What? Where is immortality waiting for you? Ask yourself, who do you know in your life? And, and because of who they are in your life, you have an edge in life. Who, let me ask you, who, I me, mean, this guy, John, was the son of Zebedee. 
We never heard anything about Zebedee. His brother James was already killed by Herod. Now he's the only one alive. His brother has died many, many years ago as a young guy. He lived and died a natural death. And as at this time, he was 90. But here was a blessed apostle, a servant of the Lord, who, who with this angel appearing before him, and this angel acknowledging, I am your fellow kind. That gave him an advantage. That gave him an edge over others and other pastors in the seven churches. They knew this guy. There's something that makes him better. There's something that gives this guy an edge. Yes, sir. When I was first called into the ministry to pastor churches, I made up my mind, I will not produce lily livered people. Yes sir. yes, sir. I don't admire weak people. Yes, I've never sir. been a weak person. Yes sir. yes, sir. That's why I don't blame people. One of the first ways to know you're a weak person is when you start blaming people for things that went wrong in your life. Yes, sir. That's a proof that you're a weak person. You may look tough, but you are weak. How do we know you are weak? When you blame people for the things that go wrong in your life. Why did you let your life go wrong? Why didn't you fix it? Why are you putting it on people? Okay, so when they were running your life on rampage, why didn't you hold your life and fix it? Why are you blaming them? John never blamed anyone here. These people were tearing his life apart. His world looks like it has crumbled. But there was a being waiting for him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Immortality was going to give mortality advantage. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why? How can you kill a man like this? Honestly. When the one who does not die is backing him. Yes. Huh? Yes. Eh? Yes, or it is you that wants to kill him that would rather die instead. It's true. It's true. This John, they tried to kill him. But the one who says he's Alpha and Omega, beginning and ending. Is now with him, saying we are working together. Wow. We are partners together. Yes, sir. Immortality and mortality. In partnership of service yes, to God. Yes, how can you kill the immort how can you kill the mortar when immortality is in partnership with the yes, mortar? Sir. That's what I'm saying. Who is with you that gives you an advantage? I'm talking about a stupid boyfriend. <laughs> oh, you, you girlfriend. Someone say you mean stupid girlfriend. I didn't say that. I just said girlfriend. <laughs> but 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 a boyfriend can be stupid. Someone say why? Because he is a male gender like myself, so I can insult them. But I can't insult you because I'm not a woman. But you can fill in the blanks for yourself. So I believe your laughter did. Your, your laughter. Have you laughed today? <laughs> Love with me. <laughs> Some of you. Your, your face looks like chalk. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is how you laugh. That's why you don't have money. <laughs> laugh with me. <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh. Don't you want to have money? <laughs> I told you, money runs away from people that don't laugh. Laugh with me. <laughs> Ah, this one doesn't want money. <laughs> Let me take your money. <laughs> Let me take your money. <laughs> hey, I laugh with me. Hey, I look at me, I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? Why are we telling you to laugh? Because there is a consciousness. I thought you would have caught. When I told you to laugh, you should have laughed, <laughs> knowing that immortality is behind you. Yeah. 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 See? Yeah. Laugh with me now. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> immortality is behind me. <laughs> Partnership <laughs> with immortality. That's why I know no man can kill me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I know I will never fail. Yeah, now you think about it. Yes, sir. If you are in partnership with immortality, yes, sir. right? Yes, sir. And you're already successful as immortal. In partnership with an immortal being, what does that make your success? Immortal. It makes it permanently yes. what? Immortal. Yes. Oh, I like this. Because immortality will do what? Through partnership, it will give life to what? Yes, to to your to anything mortal yes, that is around you. Yes, sir. 
Hey. Yes, sir. Why do you think out of many books that have been written in the past that have been forgotten, this book of Revelations cannot be forgotten? Yes, this is a proof that this being is still in partnership yes, sir. with the revelations he gave John. Yes, sir. That's why ages to come, this book will still be there. Yes, sir. Hey, let's take our success into the emotion. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. That's what dedication is. Yes. Dedication. When you bring something before the altar of God, that's what you are actually doing. Like for instance, you are giving an offering. Yes. You see, yes. there are some people. Their finances in life is squeezed because the offerings they give is squeezed. They give squeezed offerings. Wow. They they don't know. The altar is a place of exchange. Yes. 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 Where you exchange your weaknesses for immortal strength yes. because the altar is a spiritual place yes, sir. so when we say let's give our offerings when we say let's do baby dedication you're actually what committing something from the mortal into what into yes. partnership with immortality yes. all right let's close yes, I somebody buys a car and say oh brother see, please come and me dedicate the car what do you think we're trying to do we're trying to push the provision of that car into what? Into the corridors of what? Immortality. Now, someone say, but I still had an accident. Because of you, you pulled it back. You pulled it back. Let me ask you. ADT, right, is a security yes, yes, this thing. Yes, sir. Is it for free or you pay monthly you subscription? Pay monthly subscription. Yes, sir. Right? Okay, fine. So we dedicated something that you brought to the house of God. It is your own. You brought a car. You dedicate it. To the Lord, or you brought a child, we dedicated it to the Lord yes, for sir. you. So we brought it into partnership with immortality yes, sir. in service, in glory to yes, God. Yes, sir. Then, for the past six months, or three months, or four weeks, we've not seen you in church. Mm. Then you now have an accident. Mm. Why well, now? After I dedicated this car, what was your monthly subscription with God? Yeah. When last did you give an offering to God? Where you draw safety from, do you service the subscription? Wow. Wow. Dummy. Wow. You pay cable. It's true. The cable you pay over two hundred dollars. Your phone bill one seventy five dollars. You pay all those ones. You come to church. <laughs> the last twenty dollar you gave, you thought you did a very big thing. Ah! God should be happy. That's what we say. Who backs you up spiritually? Who is in who is in partnership with you? Why did you withdraw your subscription? How do you expect God to sustain your success? God gave you a job. And since you got that job and testified of it, we never heard anything from you. You don't give anything to God. Now you lost your job, you are crying. Why are you crying? You know you are crying because you know God cannot trust you again to give you a new job. But there are others. They lost their job. They did not actually lose their job. The job lost them. And God made that happen because God knows he wants to give them something better. And then he gives them something more grandiose. So say, I just lost my job. Shut up! They lost you. See now. Bro, say, I don't think I can see that. I actually lost my job. No. <laughs> they lost you. Yes, they lost me. The government of Turkey didn't know that they were pushing John into what? Into the corridors yes. of immortality. Yes, they thought it was just an island. Yes, but that was where the beginning of creation likes to stand. Wow. He likes to come there to have his own quiet time. Yes. Ah. Let's get acquainted with where spirits like to go. Yes. And the first place is church. One of the ways to know that you are, you are in a heavily spiritual place is who your minister is. I mean, you see somebody like Papa Joshua Aguila with the manifestation of the Spirit of God at work in his life. And you still think you are in your grandmother's old Baptist Episcopalian church behind the cathedral near the city hall. Between Prudential and Bank of America, you see, you just go through that dining room. What's the address? You say it's um, 214AB. Say which one? You put it on GPS. GPS, mm -mm. 
<laughs> I'm not going. <laughs> He's rerouting. You know those kind of churches where you have to call somebody on the phone. Someone says, where is it now? <laughs> they say, I'm coming now, sir. Uh -huh. When you get to pay less, then you turn right, you see Costco. Everything is pay less, Costco. <laughs> Everything is. <laughs> then from there, you now see Target. When you get to Target, that's where our church is. Our church is just behind Target. <laughs> so your church is a Target. <laughs> oh, man. Who is behind you in partnership? Now, that story I told you about the initiation, who I was as a high priest. How come, even though I was not the grand master, the grand master was always granting me my wishes because he knew who I was. He knew who I was. I told you many, many years ago in the past, there is nobody I cannot beat. Mm. There's nobody. Mm. Something will just come on me. And if I follow you, mm. I will finish you. Mm. <laughs> that was then. That thing has left. Yes, Something sir. better is with yes, me. Yes, Listen. Oh, man. I wish you can understand. Someone said you are still waiting for the title. But also you have not told us the title. The spirit of prophecy. Yes. The spirit of prophecy. Hey. Yes. Listen. Listen. Hey. Hey, one of the ways, one of the ways through which I discovered I was going to have a prosperous, vibrant, successful life. Ever successful. Yes, Unending, victorious life. Do you know how? When I read the scripture where the Lord said, I will never leave you. Yes, sir. I will never. Yes, sir. It isn't for a time. I will never leave you. Someone said, God is angry with you. God has left you. He said, I will never leave you. I will never leave you. I will never leave you. Ah, you are tired, girl. He said, I will never leave you. Just because your office folks left you and made you lose your job, God says, I will never leave you. Which means another better job is coming. He says, I will never leave you. I will never leave you. Not disappoint you. Not leave you helpless. That's what it means by forsake. Hey. I just knew my life has been missed. He says, I will never leave you. I will never leave you. Never. 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 Ah. My life is made. You see why I tell you I found my way out of trouble. Yeah. He says, I will never. I didn't tell him to say it. He said it. Yes, sir. He told me. Yes, sir. When I read it in the scripture, he said, I will never leave you. Yes, Who is the you? Me. You reading it. Yes, and I'm telling you, yes, the one who made all things yes, said, I will never leave you. Yes, I will never leave you. Ah. Yes, not disappoint me. Wow. I truly serve a Lord who does not disappoint. And he's the one I'm in partnership with. So what do I need to do? Maintain my subscription with him. My partnership with him. He says I will never leave you. Someone said this person just died alone. No! He said I will never leave you. He never left. So I said, I just lost my job. Now what am I going to do? He said, I will never leave. When you left the organization, he followed you. Ah! Ah! He did not push you away. They said, go, I will stay in this organization. When they said they were firing you, what they didn't know is that they were firing their source of prosperity. So when you were packing your things, he packed with you and went with you. He says, I will never leave. I will never leave. No matter the house you live in, whether you are a squatter. I squatted for one year in Brooklyn. I used to sleep on the floor when I first came to America. For one year on the floor, he was with me. The owner of the house will sleep on the bed and wake me up and say, what is the Lord saying? He will sleep on the bed. I sleep on the floor and the Lord will be talking to me. You'll see your future is made. I will never leave you. It doesn't matter what your house address is. 
Who are you in partnership with? So whoever is trying to harm you is doing you a favor. Because it is not you he is harming. He is trying to harm the one in partnership with you. You see? He says being confident of this very thing. That's what my confidence is on. He says being confident of this very thing. That he who had begun this good work. What a good work. What a good work. What a good work. What is a good work? Partnership with immortality. The spirit of prophecy is at work in me. He says he will complete it. As long as he has started, he will never leave it unfinished. He must complete it. You see why I'm not helpless? It doesn't matter who tries to attack me. People have tried. I can never be defeated. Because the one who cannot be defeated is in partnership with me. And he told me he will never leave. Think about it. Joseph was in prison. Yet the Bible says the Lord was with him. In prison. And prospered him where? In prison. Where the Pharaoh in the palace had a problem. Prosperity left the palace to the prison. <laughs> what? Prosperity left the palace and came to the prison. And thank God the Pharaoh had sense to know where to look for. He went to the prison to go and pick the guy. Hey! Believe me, who will be greatly suffered? Who will be greatly suffered? I told you, the time to rule has come. Yes, sir. The time to rule has come. The time to rule has come. Listen, they saw the success of Pasoinis and they are some assaulting. Ah, that is a prelude of what is coming. I said presidents will be members of this church. Presidents. Governors. Judges. Justices. They will be members of this church. Ah, he says, I will never leave you. Listen, do you know what that means? That means that even if I say what I didn't mean, as long as he will never leave me, he will make that thing happen. What? You cannot shame me. We are in it together. Never ever think you are alone. Never, never, never think you are alone. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I He says that I know their God. I know my God. He already told me he will never leave me. He will never disappoint me. And we are in partnership together. The Bible says we are co-laborers with God. We are co-laborers. Co-laborers. We labor together. Hey. Hey. What is alive in you? Partnership. I will never leave you nor forsake you. How can something come and press you in the night? How can it be with you? I mean, marine spirit is pressing you in the night. Hey! That's a miscarriage. How can you have a bad dream when it's with you? No bad dreams. No. Listen, today ends bad dreams in your life. So say, they are trying to give me food in the dream, food that I don't want. No! He said he is with you. Except you told him to leave. Brother, he is the best partner I can ever have. He says I will never leave you. If he never did, if he said so, that means that even in death, he's still with you. Yeah. That's why our celestial pastor, Pastor Eunice, is not alone. He is still with her. He says, I will never leave. I will never leave. I will never leave. I will never leave you. Never leave you. I will never disappoint you. I will never leave you. I will never disappoint you. That house that you want, let's go get it together. Hey!
The Bible says Herod came and killed James, the brother of this very same guy, yes. John. He killed him. And the Bible says nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Then Herod went when he saw that he pleased the people for killing James, the brother of this very John. Yes, sir. The Bible says he went for Apostle Peter. And that was the biggest mistake he made. An angel came. The night he entered the prison, the angel came there. And the Bible says when the angel walked into the prison, the prison doors that opened of his I own accord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. Some of us are in divine partnership. That's what I'm telling you. Never forget it. That you are not alone. That's why no one can kill us anymore. No one can harm you. Someone said, I don't do well with threats. No, threaten me and see what will happen to you. Ah. Yes, sir. Ah. Apostle Peter was comfortable sleeping in prison and the angel slapped him and said, Get out, you don't belong here. He did not let him pass the night. What? He never knew. It. And when they asked the people, when they were told, Apostle Peter is by the gate, the people said it was his angel. His angel. His angel. So you've always had an angel. He wants to manifest. Let things happen so that he can show up. He wants to show up. Uh, when Jesus was tempted with food and he refused to eat, the Bible says two angels showed up. Some say, I don't like bad things happening. Let it happen. So that immortality can show up on our behalf. Yes, sir. We are not of them that return. We are not of them that draw back, the Bible says. We do not retreat. We keep moving forward. Apostle Peter retreated to the prison. And the angel came and said, get up. Let's move forward. Let's move forward, brother. Yes, sir. We move forward. Yes, sir. Talk to the Lord. Man, Socrates, to God said, Father, I thank you for reminding me that you will never abandon me. You will never leave me. You will never disappoint me. Hey, La Cosa, Brete, Via Cusa, Kelia Cusa, Mangre, Toko, Fosa. Financially, you will never leave me. You will never abandon me. Maritally, you will never leave me. No, abandon me. Economically, you will never leave me nor disappoint me. Educationally, you will never leave me nor leave me stranded. You will never leave me stranded. Partnership with immortality. Partnership with immortality. I'm in partnership with immortality. I'm in partnership with immortality. Listen, listen. Hi. When King David at 17 stood before Goliath, yes, sir. he said to Goliath, You may come with your mighty army. Yes, sir. But I come on, I come against you in the name of the Lord. He knew who he was in partnership yes, with. I know who the partnership with. How was King David able to defeat Goliath knowledge? Yes, he knew what Goliath did not know. Yes, sir. Now we have come to know what many don't know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He says, I will never leave you. Yes, many don't know that. Yes. That God already said he will never leave us. Yes, many don't know that. Now I know. I then he says, I will never leave you stranded. Yes, sir. I will never forsake you. I will never leave you halfway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I know that. Bless his name. Bless his name.
maybe your family member has already told you. I will see. If you don't come, I will see how you will make it. Ah. The one who gave you that riches already told me. He will never leave you. He will never leave me halfway. I will never be stranded in my life. That was what gave me confidence. Listen, that is what gave me confidence. When I first came to America and I slept at JFK for two days because I didn't know anyone, that was what I was regurgitating in me. Yes, sir. He already said he would never leave me. Yes, sir. Nor forsake me. Nor forsake me. So the two days I was at JFK, he was with me there. Some people thought I was part of the homeless. No. I was just mapping our strategy. Yeah. He says he will never leave you, never nor leave forsake you. you. No, disappoint me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He will never disappoint he me. Never That's why that job is mine. That wealth is coming to me. Money is coming to me. He is the one pulling resources to me. My partnership with immortality. He's drawing resources to me. He's drawing opportunities for me. He's drawing helpers of destiny to me. Without me praying for it. Yes, sir. That's why no man can condemn me. Bless his name.